Hello and welcome to my video for what sold this week. This is for the week of September 8th through the 14th of 2016. And thanks for stopping by. And uh, the question of the week for me this week is when you look up an item, and this is probably my first time I've done a question of the week, but when you look up an item for resale when you're at the thrift store or wherever you're at looking for stuff, do you look at the items that have sold and wonder if someone has ever gotten actually paid for those items? Or if those items are actually items that um, someone had bid up, say at auction, had, had bought them or bid them up but had no intention of paying? and was just doing it as what they call shill, build, shill bidding, trying to basically inflate the price on somebody else. So usually it's, it would, you see it at, I mean, you see it at live auctions, you see, you know, guys who, who will, uh, they'll run the prices up on, on other sellers, or they'll, they know who's selling something like at consignment auctions, they'll know some other dealer is selling this item, and that's a friend of theirs, so they'll bid on it to try to get whoever else is bidding to go higher. You know, it's it's not, you're not really supposed to do that. Auctioneers are, are supposed to can you. If you do, you're supposed to put a stop to it, but I don't know if they do or not. But, uh, and eBay does not allow that. So, um, does it ever, does that, does that ever enter your mind when you see a sold price and you say, well, how come this guy's item sold for $125 and this guy's sold for $10 or 15 or 20 or 50? How come and then there's prices in between. Do you do you ask yourself if the guy at the top is no, maybe he didn't actually ever get paid for that item? Do you ask yourself maybe that was a shill bidder? Because I never ask. I never ask myself that. You know, when I see the sold prices, I go, oh, wow, you know, or okay, yeah, it sells. Depends on what it is. You know, if something sells really high, and I see a high a high one, and I see a low one. I usually suspect that the lower ones are because people didn't value their items as highly as they ought to have. And again, I, you know, we've talked about this before. I talked about this before. People, uh, people got to make a quick flip, and I get it. I understand. You know, I understand the quick flip because you don't have enough room, or or you just want to get the 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 money roll, keep the money rolling. And I completely understand that. I just, what 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 is it that would make somebody think that a higher priced item never got paid for? It's true that it does happen that sometimes higher priced items don't get paid for, but sometimes the lower priced items don't get. I've had people buy stuff for three or four dollars or five dollars and never pay. So you know that's the question. I guess is kind of rhetorical in that I already have my my opinion on on the subject. I mean I don't ever think that way. I was just wondering if 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 you actually think that way. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into my free. And there's a reason. I'll show you here shortly why. You know, during this, I'll show you one of the one, maybe two of the items that I had that that uh, could give you some might give you some pause when you were looking at uh, completed or sold items. So, the first item that we sold this week was, and this is one of them. This is a book called Thunder Below, and I told you about it before when I was when I was in Florida. I sold this thing, and uh, the guy told me that it's going to actually that a passage of it uh, for, will be used. Um, I think it was on the USS Colorado, I think he said. They're going to use a passage from this book every time a submariner uh, gets pinned. I think they call it. Whenever, whenever a submariner gets pinned, they read a passage from this book. So, And this was actually signed by the author. This is one of the books that I got at that house I cleaned out that didn't, I didn't pay anything for. So it was free to me. It did not sell for $125, but that's what it was listed for. It was $125. Um it was listed for quite a while. It was listed for over a year at $125. And I ran different sales and all that kind of stuff the whole time. So I don't know if you look this up in completed. If you look this book up, if you would see that it sold for $125 or if you would see it sold for best offer. But I think you saw it would, you'd see that it went for best offer. It sold actually for $55. I actually took $55 on it. I wouldn't have taken that price. I was gonna, I was, I was, I did counter a little higher. He came back at 55 and I took it. But I wouldn't have if it, it was a good story. You know what I mean? It was a real story. It was, seemed like a real story. It didn't seem like a story that, oh, my grandma's got cancer and my mother broke, wrecked a car and dad's got a broken leg and, 
and my kids are all, you know, getting thrown out of school. It wasn't, you know, one, one of those kind of stories. Anyway, I listed this October of, I mean, August of 18th last year and sold it uh, September 8th this year. But what would you think if you saw that? Would you think that, I mean, if you knew that it, if a book like this had sold for $125, and I have sold plenty of books that price or higher, much higher, but then you saw other people selling the same book or something very similar for much less, would you think that, that the one that I sold was not real? Would you, kind of a conspiracy thing there, you know, that everybody's trying to fake stuff? You know, because maybe they are, but for the most part, when you look stuff up and you see prices like that, it's because somebody valued something more. I could have listed this for 25 bucks, and I would have sold it really fast. You know what I mean? When, it, when I first got it, I didn't. So, uh-oh, why is it doing that? Doggone it, why is it doing that? Oh. You know, this computer gets phantom touches. So it's doing the phantom touches right now. But I turned it off. I turned the touch screen off. I don't know how, I, how the touch screen got turned back on. But the touch screen's turned back on. I'm going to have to restart this whole video because this is just going to mess it all up. I'm going to pause right here. Okay, well, I think I got it fixed. Uh, we'll see if it starts back up again. Um, yeah, Acer updated updated my computer. They must have somehow done something that that turned that back on again. Somehow enabled the touch screen. So I don't know. Some somehow it got turned back on. But uh, yeah. So I think this is where I left off. I, I forget where I was at. Probably wasn't important. So all right. Next is. Uh, pack of these batteries. The I got uh, what I get for these. Uh, I paid three dollars for these each for the packs. I listed them on August twenty first this year. It sold this one on uh, September eighth, and I got eleven dollars and forty nine cents. That's with free shipping. So, um, shipping on them is is two sixty. So, you can figure out. I, I'm not making a whole lot, but you know, a little, a little bit, a little bit. So. All right, and I sold a bunch of them so far. I don't uh, enough that it's paid. I think I've sold six of them so well, not at this point, but at the actual real time right now. Because this is actually uh, uh, today is actually October eighth, but I'm doing the second week of September here. So, all right, next is this expanding wood wall rack. This is actually. Um, there's, I sell a lot of these things. This one I priced higher because it was, it was, um, a lot better quality. It was, it was really sturdy. It wasn't flimsy like a lot of them. The pegs were all connected. It was really, it was actually really nice. So, you know, I put it up for 30 bucks, you know, thinking that, uh, you know, I, you know, I'd take less and it's just 30 bucks to start plus shipping. And, uh, it took quite a while. Let's see, I listed it on, uh, I paid two bucks for it. I listed it on March 26th this year and sold it on, on September 8th and I got the 29.99 plus shipping and then uh, there the other day I got a, I got a I think it was a neutral it was a neutral feedback because the person said poor quality for the price I paid but it actually was probably the best quality I sold a lot of these and this was probably actually the best quality one I've ever I've ever had I mean so I I, I I'm not sure what 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 they didn't. I mean, they didn't ask. They, you know, they didn't. Not that a customer has to ask. They don't. They don't have to. So, um, and I don't actually expect them to. But you'd think that you. You'd think that if I mean I do. If I get something I'm not happy with, it, I contact the seller. You know, to let them know that you know this or you know this or this. You know, somebody sent me. Uh, oh, I, I bought. I bought some. What did I buy? I bought. I bought some big. Big bags, some big white bags that I could put uh, stuffed animals in, big stuffed animals, and uh, they they stuffed them into a into a flat rate envelope, which is fine, not not a padded, but a regular flat rate envelope. Well, 
they're fortunate they didn't spill all over the place somewhere because it, it was so packed so full that it split the, the envelope split open and it was really close to 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 spill it out so i mean i just i just emailed them and told me you know told the guy now i they did answer me back but they had huge massive seller so you know massive and they just said they they try to take it into account i just told them that you know to put a little tape around the envelope so it doesn't split like that you know it's what i would it's because that's what i would do to make sure because those things they, they will split so um and then they're out the money because then i'm gonna get my money back so all right uh but yeah so i usually let them know i mean it's i'm not just gonna leave neutral feedback for somebody i'm gonna or even negative feedback i'm gonna give them a chance to respond and 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 everything like that not that i wouldn't have anyway with that because it did get to me so to me it would have been wrong to to me, it would have been, not to anybody else. So anyway, yeah, next. Hmm, there we go. It's, I had this for a while, too. This is, I, uh, I don't remember what I paid for this, actually. Probably, I probably got it at Goodwill. Probably paid 79 cents, 99 cents, something like that. I listed this October 10th of last year, and I sold it September 8th of this year. And I only got $6 plus shipping for it. But I made money on it, so it was good. All right, next. And let's see. Uh, I ran this at auction, and I sold it for nine ninety nine. The person did not pay. I put it up for. Uh, I buy it now for fifteen ninety five, and let's see. Paid seventy nine cents for it. It sold on September 8th. I got $9 for it with free shipping. It was, again, that was only two sixty dollars because it was so light. So uh, I didn't make a whole lot on it, but it, it got paid and was done. So next. This was a, a lot of, uh, you've seen them. It was, it was 17 great illustrated classics. They're just kids' books. They're, they're, um, they're old. They're from the 90s, I guess. They're white, usually with red lettering on the spine. And, you know, some Bible picture on the front. And uh, I don't know why it's coming up. Is It's been removed, though, because, I mean, I still got paid for it and everything. So, but, yeah, it won't, it, it won't, it won't come up. I don't know if it's because they're, they're changing the categories around and somehow this one just disappeared or, or what it is. But I tried several times to get it come up. I won't come, the picture won't come up. So, can't give you a picture of it. But I did, I paid about $5 for the books. There were 17 of them. I just picked them up over time for a quarter 50 cents you know whatever and uh or in book lots i that you know when i buy a bag a lot of stuff that was a good way to get them so i listed it on august 14th i sold it on september 9th and i got uh 39 dollars 99 for them this is another one that yeah a lot, a lot of times you see the lots of them you see some people sell them real high you see some people selling them pretty low pretty cheap i listed my pretty much higher than anybody else with that that number of books and I got full price for it so the the whole the full price that I wanted for it now somebody could say well that was a shill bid or yeah that wasn't real or he never got paid well I got paid so just want to let you know that you know it's usually it's usually it's true when you see the higher prices people actually got it and this next one is really going to be one that's going to probably blow your mind if it comes up Come on, come on. There we go. These are they're they're this big. They're they're just little little square uh cookie press. They're little square stonework cookie presses in there. Um, here. Yeah, I guess that picture's not gonna come up. I walked by this twice at the Goodwill. Same day, I was up and down the the. The aisles. I walked past it twice, and I and I looked down, and I saw it, and I thought, well, you know, I'll just check it. So I checked it, and didn't somebody sell that thing? That well, it was a hundred and hundred and forty nine dollars. Some it was like a hundred fifty bucks for this thing when I looked it up. It was right around there. I mean, it might have been less than that. It might have been more than that. I don't. I don't remember for sure, but it was way over a hundred bucks. And I'm like, no way. Not no way. I didn't believe it, but no way somebody paid that. That was what my opinion. Would somebody paid 150 bucks for these little things. There's four of them, just like this. So they, you know, they're different. You know, butterfly and and uh, dragonfly and a frog and you know, ladybug and stuff. You know, they're all different. They were, I don't know, two three inches 
you know, long. It was just tiny. A little, it was small. And uh, this thing sold when I was in Florida. Let's see. I listed it. Let's see. I paid two bucks. I paid a dollar ninety nine for it. And uh, I listed it on June twentieth, and it sold on September 9th. and I got one hundred nineteen dollars ninety five cents plus shipping. Now, somebody else could look at that and say, "No way, that's not real. He didn't get paid for that. I got paid for it right away. So they paid for that right away." Um, Other people may have listed them for less. I don't know. When I looked it up, this was the only one I found that sold for the high, the high, that price that it, that was on there. When I went to list it, there, I think there were some other ones up that had sold, but they sold relatively a lot. They sold a lot less. They sold a lot less, and I was like, "Well, I'm putting mine up higher because somebody else got it." Bang! <laughs> it took three months, but I got it. So. It's not shill bidding. It's not, well, they didn't get paid for it. Sometimes, yeah. You remember I talked about those uh, those Beats by Dre, that pill speaker that I bought that people kept buying and kept buying and kept buying and kept buying and I kept forgetting to put it on required, you know, immediate payment required. And, you know, when I put it on immediate payment required, it ended up get, it ended up selling. Somebody, they paid for it. They bought it. It's gone. Never heard from again. Same price as the other ones that sold but didn't actually sell because they didn't pay for them, so. Um, so that you could look at it like that and say, well, he didn't get paid because he didn't, but I eventually did. So, okay, next. I'm hoping that that, that screen there is, is actually, hold on a minute. Okay, yeah, that's, uh, the, my program got a little off kilter when I was trying to fix it earlier so I wasn't sure how far off it was um yeah this is just a it's just a little pocket New Testament in in a box I had it sitting around let's see I listed it uh paid a buck for it listed it on April 20th this year oh sorry sold it on September 10th I got nine bucks plus shipping so it was just a little pocket New Testament white one it was nice next <laughs> a Buffalo Sabres. Hey, did that not come? Yeah, it did. Uh, but it's just a mini hockey stick. It was probably, I think it was like maybe 13, 14 inches long, something like that. Um, I didn't actually think it was gonna that they were gonna buy his pink. Was the handle was pink? Um, no, no the handle was no the handle wasn't pink. That was baseball bat that I had was pink. A little one. A little. So this is obviously a giveaway thing probably at a game or something like that for Buffalo. And anyway, I paid a dollar twenty nine for it. Which I probably shouldn't have. Um but at the time I just I I don't think I even looked it up, I just grabbed it. So uh, not that you know looking it up would have helped any, but I listed it on March twenty fifth, sold it on September tenth and I got five bucks plus shipping. So yeah, you know, that's a feedback builder there, I guess. Loss leader. So, next. And this is a uh, Melissa and Doug chimpanzee. It's very cute, very big. Um, it did not sell for 40 bucks. It sold for $20, but they never paid. So, they didn't pay, so it went through the whole process. And, and uh, it's relisted again. I think it's relisted. Well, it will be if it's not, so... Uh, but this was a while ago. But it only went for twenty, and then they didn't pay anyway. So, next, and so just a, this is a letter punch. Um, just it's one. It's just one a leather letter punch. It's just like a, it's one inch by one inch. Just the letter D. It sold for. See, I paid about a quarter. I bought a whole bag of them for like eighteen bucks, and there's like a bunch of this size and then there's a bunch of another size and stuff so I've sold way more than eighteen dollars worth of them already I think so I paid about a quarter a piece and uh, I listed these clear back in February on the 21st of this year sold it on September 10th and I got 599 plus shipping so um, that was a good deal alright uh, next 
These are these, these were cute. I bought these. Uh, I bought these from the place called the Yard Sale Shack on uh, Route Six there, outside of Mansfield. She put a bunch of them up on uh, on Facebook. There was I think eight of them, and she put on Facebook. And it was three dollars for the whole set. So uh, so I kind I contacted her and I, and I bought them off of there. Went over, picked them up, and bought a bunch of other stuff that day when I was over there, which I'm prone to do when I go someplace. Um, and these sat for quite a while. I've sold the. Uh, well, I'll tell you. Uh, this says two sold, but I actually had more. They sold before, and then I, I did a sell similar on this. I think. Let me see. Um. Now I'm not sure if I did a. So I did have more of them. I know I've sold more than two because I just sold. I just sold. Let's see, there's. I just sold two of them. Two sets of them, and I know I sold some before. So. Maybe there was only there might have only been six of them, and I sold one before. Maybe that's how that worked. But anyway, uh, I paid it. You know, it's for the for the two sets, probably probably like a buck, um, because it was three dollars for all of them. So I listed these on June fifteenth, June fifteenth last year, June fifteenth, two thousand fifteen, and sold the, these two on uh, the cup, two sets of cup and so, cups and saucers on September eleventh. And I got fifteen fifteen bucks for the pair. So and that was plus shipping. So uh I didn't get eleven ninety five, it was fifteen bucks for the pair, but hey, uh they sat for quite a while. Wish you would have offered me more we would have offered me with the rest of them, I would have sold them too. Alright, next. Uh can jar lid. I got uh let's see, I got four bucks for that one. Sold it on the on the eleventh again. And it was listed uh, last year, so you've seen so many of these. I, I just got some more and got some more uh, uh, uploaded. So not well, yeah, relisted. So all right, next. Not a lot. I wish I had more. Um. Yeah, these game cards. The lady bought them. Let's see. She offered me. I think it was eight bucks. Uh. Yeah, she offered me eight bucks for them. I took it right after, right after she, right after she took it, she uh, emailed me, told me they were the wrong game. She made it, made an offer on the wrong, on the wrong thing, so I just canceled it. So no sale. Still have them. Oh, next. Chalkware angels. They, these I don't think these run very long. They're just uh, they're just chalkware. Uh, they go to a nativity set, probably, you know, about that big, maybe four or five inches, six inches. Um, I got them for free somewhere. I don't remember where. I listed them on August 5th. They've been around here for a while. August 5th. And I sold sold them on September 11th. I got 15 bucks, 14.95 free shipping. Okay, next. And you'll probably recognize this when it comes up. It's that antique eucalyn, and I sold it before. And the person uh, didn't realize it was damaged when I when they bought it when they made an offer on it, so I canceled for them. I relisted it. I paid five bucks for it originally. Um, I relisted it, sold it on the twelfth for seventy dollars, and they not, and that person never paid, so it's relisted again. So next. And these uh, first tee gloves, I've had these for a long time, long time. And uh, I, re I I finally got them relisted. They were in my old store. I finally got them relisted there a while back. And uh, I sold three since I relisted them. So I think this time was uh, what I sell. Just I just sold one. Um, I don't remember what I paid, but it was really cheap. So uh, maybe a buck a piece, maybe. Anyway, I listed these on October twenty third this last year, and sold them on September thirteenth, and I got eight dollars and forty nine for this one, which is what I was asking with free shipping. So next, what is this? Uh, okay, Come on, come on up. I don't know. Something's going on with my tabs. Things aren't working right. I don't know what what the deal is. 
This came out of a Harry Potter Quidditch game. It's just a little uh, catapult and this sold with it to the same person. The little, the little, uh, what are, what's it called? The quaffle that goes with the, uh, the catapult. And I sold the two of them together. I paid a buck for the whole game. So I sold these two pieces together for $5.23 plus shipping. I listed the game on August 8th of this year. Sold these on uh, September 13th. So not, um, not, not big money, but just one of those things. So next. Not small money either. Tiny money. Okay. Okay, this is a, uh, uh, it's a wiring harness for a Dodge Caravan. Um, it had, it was still in the original bag and everything, so, uh, let's see. Um, I paid about 50 cents for it. Quit moving around. I paid about 50 cents for it, and I listed it April 11th, and it sold five months later. Uh, September 13th and I got 15 bucks with free shipping so um, the shipping was uh, flat rate so flat rate envelopes so was five something so I didn't make a lot on it but I made, I made something on it so good deal next another cannon jar lid look at the phone on that it's all screwed up okay <laughs> it's just another cannon jar lid this one sold for uh, 5 dollars plus shipping so this uh, that one went full price so Good deal. Next. And this is just a lot of uh, Pixar, Disney cars, things, different stuff I picked up here and there along the way. Just kind of added to the collection. And uh, I had some I had some lower offers on it because people only wanted a couple of cars or something like that. And uh, I wasn't really interested in splitting them up because it wasn't really worth it. To, to do that so uh, I paid about four and a quarter for all of them so I listed this lot on July 27th sold it on September 14th and I got eight ninety nine plus shipping so I sold them all geez Dave that was a good deal you gave them well they're gone so yeah that wasn't real bright all right, next. It's a laptop adapter. I picked this up at the Goodwill for three ninety nine. Listed it on uh, March fifth this year. Sold it on September fourteenth. I got twenty bucks plus shipping. Next, wedge cutter attachment, which I've had forever. Okay, I had actually had two of them, and they're both sold now. Uh, I had them both for a while. For a while, I sold one, and then a short time later, I sold the other one. It just goes that way, I guess. So it could be because people had them up for a lot less, maybe, than what I had them up for. Um, I paid about a dollar. Listed it on October twenty third last year. Sold it on September fourteenth, and I got fourteen dollars and ninety five cents free shipping. So that was it. That was my entire thing. I paid about $32.50 for all this stuff. The stuff that I had uh, that I had prices for. So um Yeah, and the total sales were basically $501. And if you take the uh, the no sales out, the you know the uh, monkey, the gorilla and the game carts and uh, that Euclid, if you take those out, then it was, then I actually made uh, $403.96 for this week. So, not an exceedingly great week, but um, it hasn't been an exceedingly great month, actually. So, anyway, uh, yeah, that's it. So, I needed to get one of these done, got it done, and uh, I'm going to get going. And I should have turned the light on out here, shouldn't I? I didn't, though. So you have a great day. It's raining outside here, and it's raining outside in a lot of places down south along the coast. So um, I'm going to take off. You have a great day, and keep listening.
and make a lot of money. <laughs> okay, bye.